This tutorial is a presentation on how to manage your files and folder using the Windows Explorer. So things like cutting, uh, creating folders, renaming folders, moving, copy, paste, and so on. So the first thing we are going to do is to start one Windows Explorer. And so I'm going to do left click on this icon here, single left click. And I'm arriving in library here. So I would like to create a uh, folder on my desktop for reporting. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to my desktop. So I'm going to do a left click on desktop. Be sure that you got the right view selected here. So you're probably better off at the moment being on details. So you would go to this uh, down arrow here for more option. And if you have an extra icon or large icon, I recommend that you use the details view easier to view. So you can resize your view and make yourself comfortable. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a folder. There's two ways or many ways but two ways of creating folders is the first easiest thing is to do a left click, single left click on new folder to create a new folder. So I can do this, I do a left click new folder and straight away he's asking me how do you want to call this folder. So I'm going to call it reports. And I press enter, now I've got uh, my folder report here. I can also create uh, a folder using a right click in a wide area here, not on any of the file here, on a wide empty area. If I do a right click there, it will tell me what do you want to do. So I'm going to go down to new, do a left click on new, and then a left single click on folder. Same thing, that's is asking me this. So I can call this one report number two. If I want to rename a folder, there is also a different way to do this. The, probably the easiest way would be just to do a right click on the folder, on the, the name here, right click, and go down to rename. And I can rename it. So if I can rename report number three, and I press enter. The other way to rename a folder is to, once it is selected, let's say I'm selecting, so just doing one left click on report number three, I'm going to do another single left click on the name, and then it's allowing me to change the name again. So I can then call it number four, press enter. That's a different way to rename it. What I can also do is to, uh, I can delete simply a folder. So you can select the folder and press on your keyboard delete, and that will delete the folder probably will ask you, are you sure you want to delete? If you're not sure you made a mistake, you can click no. But if you're happy with deleting it, you can press yes. And then the folder is gone. I can do the same thing doing using the right click. So if I want to delete this folder report, I'm going to do right click on report and click delete. Am I sure? Yes. All my folder has been deleted now. So I'm going to create uh, this folder again. So I'm going to do a right click on the one area, new folder. I'm going to call it reports again. In this report folder, I want to create some subfolders, basically one for every time uh, I'm doing some reports, normally for the date. But you can rename them the way you want. So to go inside a folder, I can do it in two different ways. I can do a double click on the report on the folder itself, the double left click, there we go, and I'm inside this folder. Because I've just created it, it's empty, and we are in report here. If you want to come back to the view where we were before, we just come back here with this blue left arrow there, and now I'm back to this view before. The other way to go inside the folder is to do a right click on the folder, and uh, click open, and then I'm going inside the folder. So I want to create a new folder in, uh, in this area for a specific date. So I can do a left click on new folder and I'm going to call it 1st September 2015. If you try to put some funny characters like the slash or equal, it won't let you do it. So if I try to press the slash, it won't let me do this. So for the date, I recommend to use the dash. So 1st of July 2017 and I press enter. I'm going to create another folder, right click in the empty wide area, a new folder. This one, the 4th July 2015. And you can do this as many times as you want. 
new folder, then 7 2015. And I can create another one, new folder, 15 7 2015. That's pretty easy to create some folders. And I can keep on going. So if I want to create a new folder inside of the 4th of July 2017, I'm going to open the folder. So I want to go inside it. I'm going to do a double click on the folder. Now I'm inside is empty and I can create a new folder. So right click, new folder. This one is um, for maybe called training. And I can create another one called photos. Another one called tracks and so on. And you can, if you want to go inside tracks, you can do a double click inside tracks. So now we know we are in report at the top here. 4th of July tracks. And I can create more and more folders. If I want to, let's say, go back to the 4th or 7th, I can just do a left click on the bar here. It will take me there. Or I can use the arrow here and come back in time. OK, so I've got all my folders here. A few words about selecting files and folder. So let's say if I want to select all this file in one shot, I can use the drag and drop selection technique. So I'm going to do a left click down and I'm going to maintain my uh, finger on the left click and I'm going to move the mouse. So in the empty area here, I'm going to press, I'm going to do a left click and my finger is going to stay down on the left click. And if I start moving my mouse, you'll see a, um, an area of polygon here, this blue thing. So every time I go on one of the folder, it's going to select it and the next one and the next one and the next one. So I can select some files the way I want, maybe just these two, start in the word area, all this, that sort of thing. That's an, one way to select files. If I want to select all the folders in one uh, shortcut, I can use the shortcut on the keyboard to select them all. And it's Control A. So if I click Control A now, I select them all in one shot. If I want to select some particular files only, so let's say I want to select the number 1, 10, and 15, I would have to use the control key. So I'm going to press the control key down on my keyboard and I'll keep it down. And I'm going to do a left click on all the files that I want, all the folders that I want to select. So if I'm doing a left click on 1st of July, it is selected now. If I do another left click on the 10th of July, it's selecting this one. Remember to always keep your control key down on your keyboard. If I want to select the 15th of July, it will select this one. So now we have three files selected. If I decide, oh no, I don't want the 10th of July, I can click again on it and it will be unselected. As long as you got your control key down all the time, you'll be able to select and unselect the file you want. If I release my control key, they stay selected and I can delete them all if I want to, move them around, but at least they're selected. With the multiple selection, using the control key down is very useful. And if I don't want to select them anymore, I can just do a left click somewhere in the white area and they are now all not selected. If I want to select a bunch of files in a list, another way is to use the shift key. And to, to show this, I'm going to go to a photo folder that I've got here with a lot of pictures and we're going to do some exercise there. So double click on, I'm going to double click on my photos. So if you've got a lot of photos like that and you show them in the list view, sorry, the detail view, I can do what I was doing before. I can do a control A, selecting them all. So if I do a control A, they're all selected. Or I can select one after the other. So control key down, this one, this one, this one. So every time I do a left click, selecting something. Okay, or well, if I want to unselect like them, let's say I want to select from the 357 here all the way to the 380. You can do it by hand, but it takes a long time. So, control key down, left click, left click, left click, left click, left click. It takes a long, long time, and we don't want to do this. So, there is an easy way to do this. So, the first thing is I'm just going to select the 357. So, nothing on the keyboard, just a left click. First one is selected. And now I'm going to have my shift key down on the keyboard. So I press the shift key down and I maintain it down. And I'm just going to click at the end of the list that I want. So if I'm going to do now a left click on 380, 
is going to select the 357 and all the ones that are in between all the way to 380. Do a left click now with my shift key still down and I've got all my lists selected. So it's very useful when you've got a list of files that you know they're just one after the other and you want to select them all. I can do from 384 if I want to, so I'm select 384 and I'm going to press my shift key down all the way to 367 if I want to. I can move them around. So control for specific selection, control key down and the left click. Multiple selection in the list, we're going to use a shift key. Select the first one, get your shift key down and then select the last one there. So very easy to do. So why are we doing that sort of selection like that? It's, I'm going to give an example now. So I got my, um, some of the pictures on the left, a lot of them, and I want to put them in the right folder. So let's say I want to put some of this picture onto the 1st of July, some of the other pictures on the 4th of July, and so on. So this is where we start, this window, and this is where we want to go. So let's say I want to put some of this picture into the 1st of July 2015. So I'm going to double click on this and now it is empty. And I want to select some of the picture. Yeah. So on the left, so I'm going to select 355. So I'm going to put my control key down and select 355, 356, 360, 361. What I can do is that I can drag and drop some of this picture onto the right side. What that means is going to move this picture from photos to report. So they are going to disappear from the left to go there. So the drag and drop selection is on one of the blue ones that are selected. I'm going to do a left click on the name and keep my left click down. Here it is. And now if I move my mouse, I can see that I've got four selected. I'm going to move them all the way, all the way, all the way. And he's telling me now he's going to move them. And if I release my left click, here they are. So we move the pictures, the files, this is the same thing for the folders, from this window to the other one. And that's the same thing. So if I now want to select some of the, from the 366 to the 380, I'm going to do a left click on 366 to select the first one. I'm going to have my shift key down, and I'm going to select now, do left click on 380. I want all of them here. Same story, I'm going to do a drag and drop. So in the, one of the blue area on the name, not on the white area, only in the blue that the one are selected. I'm going to do a left click, I'm going to click, keep my left click down. Here it is. And then I'm going to drag them in there, moving them. If you don't want to move the file, you want to copy them. Well, that's the same thing. We are going to select the one we want to copy. So let's say, 401, control key down, 404, 420. And this time, I'm going to do a right click on one of the blue ones selected and select copy. So I click copy. Now I'm going to where I want to copy them. So I'm going to select and activate this window. So I just did a left click on the white area. So now this window is activated. You can see that it's got a different color. So when it's activated, it's dark blue. If I'm going to activate this left one, it's dark blue. And now I'm going to do a right click in this empty area here. Do a right click, and I'm going to click paste. So the photos are still on the left, and that's all, they're also been copied on the right. Where the other one, when we move them, they disappear from the left, and they are now on the right. I can also copy using the shortcut Control c Control v This is what we're going to do. So I'm going to select some other pictures. Let's say I want to copy 448, 451, and 453. I want to copy them from this window here to this one. So now that I've got this window selected, I'm going to do Control c on my keyboard, Control key down C. I'm going to select the right windows. Now it is selected. And I can do a Control v on the right window. So control key down, V, and now this has been copied there. I can move things or if I want to cut them. So if, let's say I want to move 455 five and 456 into this place. I can select 455, five, 456. And instead of doing the drag and drop like we did before, I can do control X for cut. 
now they disappear there's a different shade here I'm selecting the right windows in clicking on it now I select it, the dark blue and I'm going to do a control V so they've been moved or cut from the left window to the right window so you can do all these manipulations with files and folder and you'll find it's very easy when you want to move or copy files to have two windows one is where your files are and here's the destination let's do a little bit more so let's go to back to report and this time I want to copy some of the pictures not on 1 of July 2015 if I double click on it I've got my pictures and they're all good I'm going to come back I'm going to copy some of the picture into the 15th of July so my destination is 15th of July so I'm going to double click on this it's empty and I'm going to select some files so let's say from the bottom let's see what we've done so control key down 636 638 646 and 648 and I'm going to move them so drag and drop move them going to do the same thing now I want to do the 644 to 654 I'm going to left click on this one to select shift key down all the way to the one we want do um, left click do a drag and drop which is a left click and the, the left click stay down and then we can move them there let's say I want to copy the 680 I select 680 control C on the keyboard select the right window so it's blue now control V it's working so now 680 has been copied so it's on the original folder back to the, and also on the new one and I can keep on doing this so I can uh, now select let's say I'm gonna go back to this folder here I want to copy them also I'm gonna go back to this one I'm gonna select and go inside the 10th of July 2015 what I'm going to do I'm gonna go on my left window so I'm activating my left windows and I'm going to do a control A because I want to select them all control A that's it and I'm going to do uh, I want to copy them so I'm going to do right click copy and I'm going to activate the right windows now it's blue doing a right click paste now it's copying the 93 pictures from the left to the right and they are all selected so you got different ways to copy and move and cut files so you can select them of course and then copy and paste with a mouse with a right click you can drag them with a mouse you can also use the shortcut ctrl c ctrl x ctrl v we renamed some folders before we can also rename some files so it's the same thing I can let's say this verb 064 I don't like this name I'm going to rename it and change the name so I can do a right click on it click rename and I'm going to call it uh, training 01 enter if I want to change the name again I can rename it so I can do the other way I can have this selected I'm going to do a single left click on it until it's becoming blue and I can change the name training 03 